And the sense of bitterness that arose comes from a sense of justice. This is Gene Montrose telling. Welcome to the Tapping Q&A podcast recorded live to tape from Williamsburg in Brooklyn. This is episode 230, originally aired July 20th, 2016. Hi, everyone. I hope this finds you well wherever you are and whatever time of day you're getting a chance to listen to this. Thanks for spending a little time with me today. Today, we're going to be talking about times where we don't get the credit we deserve and the bitterness and embarrassment that we can feel because we don't feel like we're being recognized. As a reminder, if you have not done so, we have a free 10-part guide, which you can receive to help you use tapping and EFT to eliminate self-sabotage. All you need to do is go to tappingqna.com, click on the big blue button, and you'll get an opportunity to get access to that guide. You get a new part every couple of days, so you're not overwhelmed. There's tapping scripts, there's audios, there's articles, there's all sorts of goodness in there, and it's absolutely free. Also, in August, we're going to be doing a question and answer show where I'm going to be answering all of the specific questions that you have been afraid to ask or didn't know who to ask about tapping and EFT. No question is too strange. No question is too simple. Feel free to ask anything that you want if you go to tappingqna.com slash ask. ASK, tappingqna.com slash ask. You can either leave me a voice message or you can type in an email. Either way is great so that we can get your questions answered. So I found myself in a really embarrassing situation. Over the course of the last couple of weeks, I helped two people out. One was giving them a resource that they really needed. The other was connecting two people who were publicly feuding, who both were in positions of power inside of a particular industry. And just because they were snipping at each other, it wasn't good. And so in one case, I got the first person to a resource. In the other case, I got the person connected with the person they were feuding with so they could have a good conversation. And in both cases, the outcome was great. The first person got more education than they imagined. The second person was able to have a great productive conversation and they're on good footing. They're not going to be friends forever, but it made a huge difference. And in both cases, the people that I helped have podcasts, podcasts that I listen to, and that's kind of how I ended up in their orbit. And both of them in podcasts after they received the help that I provided mentioned specifically on their shows about the instances, the resource that was provided or the relationship that was mended. And I listened to the episodes knowing that they were probably going to talk about it. And I listened to the episodes to see what they were going to say about it. And in both cases, neither of them gave me any credit at all. Didn't mention my name. And when I reached out, I didn't do it for credit. When I reached out, I didn't think it would even be talked about in public. When I reached out, I didn't even know if they were going to say yes. It was simply a natural instinct to be helpful. And then after the fact, there was a part of me that felt bitter because I was not getting any credit. And then I was immediately slapped with some embarrassment because I was embarrassed because I was bitter about not getting credit because I was doing good work. And the sense of bitterness that arose comes from a sense of justice. It is a part of me that's just trying to take care of me. It's a part of me that wants what's best in the world. It's a part of me that wants to be validated. And those are good, healthy feelings to have. But when they go so far that they create this super strong negative emotion that's preventing me from doing what's in front of me, that's a problem. And the negative emotion isn't even the problem. The bitterness that I was feeling is just information. It's just the system pointing out to me that something is going on here. And so it gave me a great opportunity to just kind of dive in and figure out what that means 
and to tap for that. And so that's what we got today. Um, I recorded the tapping a little while ago when I was in the emotion, when I was in the throes of what was going on. It was an emotion that was really strong, and I figured I would just sit down and record that work. So two things can happen. One, you can get the opportunity to tap along if you've ever experienced a little bitterness. And two, you can see how I approach an issue like this when I'm tapping for myself. Please give me some feedback and let me know if this is something that is useful because I'm going to keep tapping in this way. I won't always hit record and share it with you. I'm only going to do that if you find it useful. But before we jump into the tapping, I just wanted to quickly mention the sponsor for the Tapping Q&A podcast, which is Pain Relief Miracle, which is an all-natural spray which can be used on bruises, cuts, joint pains, rashes. Because it's all natural, you can use it on your pet's I think each week that I talk about it, I become more and more of a klutz so I can have reasons to talk about it. Um, I have started using a safety razor in an effort to get a little closer shave and an effort to stop producing so much plastic and crap. Uh, And as I was shaving last week, I was just, it's one of those moments if you've ever used a safety razor where instead of pulling the razor in the right direction, you feel it sliding sideways and you know, you're just slicing yourself open. And that's exactly what I did put a big old gash across my lip. And within two days it was gone. A little pain relief miracle a couple times a day, just healed the wound right up. Listeners of the tapping Q and a podcast can get pain relief miracle for 33% off your first order. Simply go to tapping Q and a.com slash pain. That's tapping Q and a.com slash pain. There's a link in the show notes, 33% off your first order. It is in my medicine cabinet and it should be in yours as well. So without further ado, here is the time I spent tapping for myself around the issue of not feeling very good and feeling bitterness and embarrassment because of the lack of credit I received. Take a moment before you start on this tap along, tune in to someone you are bitter towards. Even if you're not bitter in the exact same way, I think you're going to find this particular audio and this particular tap along super useful. So to begin with, just tap on the side of the hand, take a nice big deep breath, and take another nice big deep breath while still tapping on the side of the hand. One final big deep breath, and just move from tapping point to tapping point, repeating after me in the order that makes the most sense for you. I recognize the fact there's a part of me that feels really bitter because the work that I did and the contribution I made went unnoticed or at least went unremarked on. And the good outcome from this situation would not have happened unless I did what I did. And no one is giving me any credit. And the bitterness is telling me that I feel underappreciated, that I feel undervalued, and that I feel dismissed. And it's important that I acknowledge that there is a part of me that wants to be validated. There is a part of me that wants to be seen as good. There is a part of me that wants to be seen as a valuable contributor. And at the exact same time, I don't want to define my worth based on what others think. 
I know my value is more than what they say about me. And the fact that I feel bitter makes me feel embarrassed. Makes me feel ashamed. Because I should be better than that. Or at least that's the story the shame tells. The empirist part believes I should be above it all. That I should do a good job and that should be enough. That it doesn't matter if people recognize me. And the truth is somewhere in the middle. I know my sense of value and worth should come from how I see myself, not how others define me. And I also recognize the fact I have a need to be connected to others. I have a need to be part of the community. I have a need to be a contributor. It is healthy for me to do all of those things. The bitterness that I feel stems from the sense of injustice that I feel because my work has not been noticed. I have the right to stand up for my work. I have the right to have it noticed. I have the right to have credit given to me when I have contributed. And when I feel bitter, it's because I feel injustice towards the fact I have not been given credit and because I have not been given credit, I am reading that as how the community sees me. I am reading that as if they are saying my contribution wasn't valuable. My contribution wasn't worthwhile. I recognize the fact. I can desire to be connected. I can stand up so my work can be seen. And not have their response define me. Because it doesn't. I thank the bitterness for pointing out what it thinks is unjust. And I want it to keep fighting for me. I thank the embarrassment for pointing out the places that it thinks that I should be doing better. I'm glad it's fighting for me and pushing for my growth. These emotions have done their job. And so they have permission to release and can come back if needed again. Nice deep breath. Some nice and simple, straightforward tapping done in the moment of an emotion. I hope you found that useful. 
if there's someone in your life who you could think use something like that, please be our ambassador. Pass the audio along. Don't spam your inbox. Don't send it to everybody in the world. But if you know someone who could use that, tap along. It's free and available. Please, please, please pass it along because the less bitterness and embarrassment there is in the world, the better it is going to be for all of us us. If you haven't done so already, make sure you check out the entire archive of the podcast. Go to tappingqnapodcast.com. Between full episodes, bonus episodes, multi-part episodes, we're closing in on 300 free resources, and they are just sitting there waiting for you. It doesn't cost you anything but a little time to dive in. You can load up your smartphone. If you get the Tapping Q&A app, which works both on Android and Droid and smart iPhone devices. You can just take the audio anywhere you want. You have access to it right away. You can subscribe in iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, TuneIn. It's on SoundCloud now. We're out there. It's easy to access. Please, please, please use the resources because they are there. If you have a question that you'd like to hear us cover in a podcast in the future, just go to tappingqna.com slash ask, or you can always email me directly, gene, G-E-N-E, at tappingqna.com. If you are in the app, if you kick on the contact section, you can leave me a voicemail, or you can shoot me an email from right inside of your smartphone or your tablet, wherever you happen to be listening to this right now. Take advantage of the discount, 33% off your first order of Pain Relief Miracle, tappingqna.com slash pain. For the Tapping Q&A podcast, this is Gene Montrostelli. I hope you have a great day, and I will talk to you real soon. Bye-bye. The Tapping Q&A podcast is copyright Gene Montrostelli, Tapping Q&A 2016. All views expressed by guests are those of the guests and not necessarily of Gene Montrostelli or Tapping Q&A.